All right, guys, we're back with top four Edison format, Epic Cards and Games. We got David Provenzo on the left playing Bayou Turbo, and we got Nathaniel on the right playing Instant Fusion Zombies. So Nathaniel's never made it to the finals, uh, but he was, in this tournament, we saw him play twice. We saw him play round three in top eight. So here he is against Provenzo, who's been in the finals, I think, three times. So let's see if he can get back to his fourth finals. Uh, so anyway, Nathaniel just starts off with summoning Crebons and setting a back row. Took care of the life points. Looks like David's thinking. I wonder what's in his hand. I see Armageddon. So I think he decides to set Raikou. Oof. But what if he gets Caius? Or he could have also... Oh, no. He set Bayou. Even worse. <laughs> That's even worse. That hurts way more because you lose a Bayou and then you take a 34 to the face. But I was thinking he could have also made uh, Revive King and hit the Bayou. Oh, he dropped the Gores. Okay, so. Maybe that's why he did this. Because he's like, I'm going to drop Gores. And this is a Ghost Gores. Which I'm not a fan of. But David did win this one. Uh, He topped the tournament in Oklahoma we went to. And I think he, he got fourth. And he got that Ghost Gores. I got third at that tournament. I actually played David. So, uh, I got the Ultimate Plague. And he got the Ghost Gores. So, I'd much rather have the Ultimate Plague. <laughs> that Ghost Gores looks bad. Anyway, let's get back to the duel. So. David only attacks over the Caius with Gores and now sets a monster. And uh, Nathaniel instant fusions. Brings down the re... Ooh, Torrential. Nice move. Gets rid of Raiko, Gores, and the token. Good job. Does he And he has Book of Life, too. Wow. What do you get rid of? The Light? Yeah, probably the Light. Just in case of Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, no. He went for the Gores. Are you scared of Dark Armed? I hope he doesn't get punished. And you might discard a card. I don't know. And this... Oh, he had Brain. That's a good hit. And now Nathaniel sets one. Let's let's see wh wh what's going to hurt him more. The Chaos Sorcerer or the Dark Armed? So he normals Armageddon. What is he going to send here? Plague? Necrogarna? Depends on his hand. What's Nathaniel's face down? Could it be bottomless? I don't know. Nathaniel's deck's a little different. Like, because I played him this tournament. He knocked me out a top eight. And he was playing, like, multiple dust tornadoes in, in his deck. So, all right. He dumps Plague and, I think, attacks over the Reaper. Reaper of the Nightmare, I think, is the name of the card. I just call it Fusion Reaper. Okay, so he's going to attack directly. Get another card. Caius. Maybe David was going to try to Kaius him. And now he passes. So we have 4,061. Oh, he has another Kaius? All right, he takes 1,000. So David's fighting back this game. So what's like? Wait, they messed up life points. Yeah, that. Maybe the rest of Nathaniel's hand sucks. I know he's got like another book. I think another book of life in hand. Maybe he's got another instant fusion. Maybe he, he doesn't have a tuner or anything. I think his hand is bad. Because he couldn't even run over an Armageddon Knight. That might have cost him. Yeah, David could have topped for Plague. Yeah, so we see another Book of Life here. So this is not bad. You get rid of that Plague Spreader. So we know he doesn't have Dark Armed. So Banish Plague, get... Oh, no, it's dead, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's dead because his Reaper got... His Reaper got banished. By Caius. And then he gets rid of Gores. I wonder what he set. He set either Spirit Reaper, Pyramid Turtle, or Goblin Zombie. He could set Sangan as well. There's a lot of cards he could have set. Is David going to bring back the Plague? Okay, so Kai's text will play. Ooh, I see Compulse and David's main deck. I like it. Ghost MST. I just don't like Ghost Rares. Okay, so Nathaniel's got e Telly. I think he probably needed that like a turn before. But now he has a zombie he can bring back with Book of Life. But he's got too many tuners. Yes, yeah, so he gets rid of Plague. It brings back Plague. Now Teleport doesn't really do anything. 
So he's just stalling with the plague. All right, what did David set? Was it Ryko? Oh no, it's a Vayu. Tribute summon for Sirocco. And then attack for 24. So now, this is this is bad for Nathaniel. He can't pay for instant fusion if he draws another one, and he can't even pay for Krebons if he tries to stall out with Krebons. So they, he activates the teleport. Yeah, I think he drew the tuners too late. He needed the tuners like a few turns ago. When he had like the, the fusion play. Okay, this is not bad, but what's David's other back row? And what do you go for here? Goyo? Brio? Okay, he goes for Goyo. And then Torrential. He's got Bayou Sirocco. So, I mean, yeah, Nathan is like at 300. Searches Mizuki. He already normal summoned. Yeah, he normal summoned Goblin. So he's got nothing in gray. Oh, no, he's got Plague. I guess he's going to try to survive with Plague. He didn't let David cut his deck. <laughs> oh, well. People make a big deal of all these things, but they happen. All right. Let's see what David can do. So David, all he has is Armageddon, and he just scoops. Man, you, Nathaniel, what if he didn't attack? <laughs> anyway, let's get ready for game two. Oh, no, they messed up the life points. Let's hope they fix it. But I'll keep track of it just in case. So Nathaniel starts off by setting a monster, setting a back row, and then David just sets two. He's got Crow in hand. Okay, summon Sangan. Ooh. Okay, so David to 7,000. I think he's got double crow. See, that this is, I do side three crows, but sometimes I'm scared of this scenario. So he's probably going to banish one. I don't think you need two of them. I think, I think he's got like Caius, Oppression. Yeah, so he's thinking about it. I don't know the rest of his hand. I just know he has two crows. So he does get rid of one of them. Yeah, with oppression, I don't think you're going to need the two crows. And someone kicked the camera. <laughs> I think it's Donnell. Right, does he set oppression? Does he have anything to stop heavy? Let's try and remember. So he has oppression and two other cards. Oh, Caius. So chain link one Sangan, chain link two Caius. And banish. What did David set? Plague. Ooh, and now David took another thousand. But he does bottomless. So we know he has bottomless oppression. So first turn he set bottomless and another card. And it looks like he's searching plague off the Sangan. Oh, he's got teleport too. Oh wow, this could be a quick game. But, David, that oppression might save him, so he decides to attack for 12. Oh, they didn't take off the 1,000, right? Because he attacked with Sangan. I think they forgot to take the 1,000 off of uh, off the Caius. Yeah, because first turn he attacked with Sangan. Ooh, heavy. Yeah, so David didn't have anything to stop the heavy storm. Well, he had then Nathaniel had Solemn. So this is why th David did the classic set two. So he set Compulse, Bottomless first turn, which I've seen everyone do that. Me personally, I would only set Bottomless. Especially Compulse. That's a card that you can use later on and like Compulse a Synchro or an Absolute Zero. You have to. All right, I'm going to keep track of the correct life points because I think, just in case, it would have changed anything. Okay, so Teleport. I wonder if he's got Book of Life. Does David even have a monster in the grave? What do you make here? Ur Urbellum, the, the psychic, the psychic guy? Yeah, yeah, that one. We saw Nathaniel uh, didn't top. Eight summon this guy. You banish the psychic. I think it gained twelve hundred. Oh, dark armed. 
That looks like that's probably a game. Banish, pop the Ryko. This looks like game. So yeah, David scoops. So the life points didn't matter. David not setting setting two didn't matter. He had heavy and solemn. So let's get ready for game three. Who's gonna go to the finals? Is it gonna be David for the fourth time? Or Nathaniel for the first time. And the crazy part is, David, David's streak has been just amazing and epic. We'll see if he can get back to the finals. All right, so David's going first. Game three, set one. And pass it. So David hasn't opened too, too well these past two games. Okay, normal goblin and teleport. Man, is teleport at one? I know it's at one, but <laughs> Daniel draws like every game. <laughs> okay, so what level six synchro, synchro do you make? He's probably gonna go for this the one that that psychic card, psychic life trans, whatever its name is. Oh no, he decides to attack first. What do you? What if you help a mill of you? Okay, he built a right <laughs> But now, now, does that change what you go for here? You know, you know, a right is gone. So he goes for this guy. He gets bottomless. See, this time David only set one bottomless, which is really good. Okay, he's gonna search for plague. Maybe him not drawing Ryko might have might help him. Maybe he'll draw something better. Let's see. All right, I think that's one. I wonder what card he's gonna draw. So he drew a spell. I think he drew a lore. Okay, now David sets two. Oh no, Nathaniel. So you saw Nathaniel thought about it. Did you did did he is that Dust Tornado or MST? See, you can't be giving stuff. I I'm not saying that I don't do it, but sometimes you you can't give away information against against. Because some players will pick up on that. See? Yeah, I, I knew it was dust. So if I was... D David should not have MST there. Because when, whenever... If I would have seen him do that... Either A... There's some people who will try to mind game you like that. But... Uh, yeah. David should not have MST there. But to be honest... Nathaniel should have just uh, flipped that dust tornado right away. Because he gave, like, if, if he was playing against me or someone else, a lot of other people would have picked up on that and been like, oh, no, you have a dust or an MST face down. But David didn't catch it. Okay, so he's going to synchro here. What's life? 45, 48. So he goes for Black Rose. He's got Solemn and Crow. Okay, as long as... As long as Nathaniel doesn't have Gores, I think David's in a pretty good position. Okay, Crow, Dark Arm too. So we saw Nathaniel win with Dark Arm. Will David win with Dark Arm this this time? Is that three Dark Sirocco? So he dumps a he dumps Vayu. Is Dark Arm live? He's checking his grave. Oh, he can make it live by crowing him. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'd go for it too. Crow, just crow a zombie. And then, see, does Nathaniel have his own crow? Probably not. Yeah, three darks. And Nathaniel scoops. So, for, I don't think it mattered too much about uh, that dust train or thing. But, congrats to David, back in the finals for the fourth time. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. And, yeah, I'll commentate over the finals soon. Bye, guys.